it's cold. I just fired it up. It's a service to build track on that thing. I probably need to reset the computer because it it went to uh, you know zero oil pressure and shut engine off last time it drove it. It's full of oil. I checked it. Um, it's got I think I have, I think I have half 10:30 in here. Yeah, at 10:30 in here. I'm pretty sure. No, I guess the oil pump could be intermittent. I don't know. Because if it was a bad oil pump, it seems like it would have zero pressure all the time. Let's see the engine temperatures. It's cold. I replaced the radiator. Um, it's overheated. An exciting video. And you can hear the engine, like, it sounds good. It doesn't sound like there's zero oil pressure. It's not ticking, it's not knocking. Yeah, it sounds real smooth, honestly. I've already replaced the oil pressure sensor, which is on the back there. You take this cover off, and then if you make a little bit of room, you can squeeze your hand back there. Replace the sensor and the and the filter screen below it. It's come down some. That's probably, I don't know, that's maybe too low for it being cold. I could see it there like uh, once it's warmed up. It's been about a minute and it's starting to drop pretty fast now towards the bottom. It was slowly dropping now it's starting to drop faster. Maybe it's just a weak oil pump. Yeah, because that's too low. That's too low of oil pressure for sure. At least what the gauge is reading, that's what's strange, is the engine sounds good. It's not making any sounds of low oil. There it is, oil pressure low, stop engine. Okay, let's, let's take a look here. So it's run like this before for five minutes or so and doesn't make any noise. Came back on a test drive, zero oil pressure, at least two miles. Got back here idle for five minutes. The engine never started to sound like it had zero oil pressure. Um, yeah, things I replaced it overheated. Uh, when someone else had it, I replaced the radiator because there was a hole in it from that. And then, yeah, then it sealed up and didn't have any leaks, coolant leaks. Drove it home, which was probably 30 miles or so, no problem. Thing was running good. Got home and it sat for, I don't know, a week maybe, and took it for a test drive and. Then it did this zero oil pressure thing. Brought it back, changed the oil pressure sensor and filter, the, the screen that's just below the oil pressure sensor. And then seemed to be good, took it for a drive, nothing happened, oil was good. Brought it back, sat for a bit, took it for another test drive then and zero oil pressure again. So I think what I'm gonna try now is maybe run, I don't know, there's a sensor or something I feel like that's not getting there. It could be a bad oil pump, but I don't I don't want to really take off that sensor again unless I have to. And that's why I've, I was told that's where you test the oil pressure. That's the best place. Um, but yeah, you can hear. There's no noise. It's not ticking. It's not knocking. It's not banging around. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna I'm gonna run a quart of uh, ATF in it just to clean it out. Maybe get maybe there's sludge, mineral deposits, maybe there's something that's just tripping something up with a sensor or I don't know. But I'm gonna run that through it for about ten minutes. Um, I'm already full on oil, but I think just one quart of ATF shouldn't be a problem. And then I'm gonna change my oil. And we'll go from there and see what's going on. But yeah, you can hear it, there's nothing. Everything sounds good. And this thing in here is freaking out. Yeah, so it's not completely zero, but just about zero, so I don't know. I don't know. Try the ATF thing, see what happens. Just threw in half a can of seafoam and about a quart of ATF. Probably didn't need both, but wanted to be thorough. Um, if it is something that's just clogged or gunked up and giving me low oil pressure I believe that should resolve it if it's an oil pump that's not going to do anything 
Um, so I was thinking I would change the oil after this and then see, but honestly, if this cleans it up, then I should get good oil pressure kind of right away. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, um, and then if it's good, then I can change the oil and get all that junk out of there. Yeah, it's not looking too good. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's warmed up enough. So before it went all the way to zero after about, I don't know, five minutes. So it really doesn't have to do with the oil, the oil temperature. Because I shut it off and I can shut it back on and it goes back up to 40. So... Not sure what that means. <laughs> oh man, I would be so grateful if this fixed it. I have a feeling it's not going to, but it's worth a shot before you start doing anything else, I guess. So now my question is, it looks like it's going to go back to zero. Why, why is the top end not making noise? Just residual oil sticking around and I suppose, I don't know. I'm gonna get a, a manual gauge. Um, you can either hook them up to your pressure sensor, where that is, which is super annoying to get to, or you can get an adapter and hook it up behind your oil filter. Yeah, that's too, that, that's just too low. What I don't understand if it's an oil pump, why would it start out at 40 psi and then come down? The engine's, the engine sounds strong, I don't get it. Not ticking or making any noises. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I got a bad sensor. Brings it up a little bit. It's weird. I'm gonna idle for a bit, get that stuff in there, clean it out. It's not smoking or anything like that. Engine sounds good.